Right, so the Traxxas Max 2019 version. It's a 110 scale 4S. It's got some features on the side of the box. VXL 4S high output waterproof. ESC, got some features over here. All terrain tires, some nice aluminum shocks. Everything looks pretty good on the truck. This is actually a first delivery uh, model. And uh, this one has the included light bar in the front, one at the back. And only these ones are gonna include it from Traxxas. Otherwise you have to buy the light kit separately. On the other side here of the box, we got some features, some self-writing, clipless body, which is always nice. You don't have to worry about losing clips. And uh, one tenth scale. All right, so let's get this unboxing started. Let's pop this door open, see what we got. Bam, unboxed, that's it. Probably the quickest unboxing yet. So the truck itself has some pretty nice wheels, five and a half by 2.8. And uh, I may go with some wider wheels down the road. I think there's a, uh, a kit as well to widen these out, which should be pretty nice. Um, clipless body, it's nice, you just, Twist this over, pop it up, lift, pull back, that's it. Body comes off, it's got some nice supports through the frame, which is great because these guys weren't cheap to buy in the past, so hopefully that lasts. So the truck itself looks pretty good, it's nice and clean. Um, we've got a, uh, a nice size ESC for a 4S, it's, uh, it's quite a large size actually. The motor itself looks really good some cooling fans. I've heard of guys breaking the blades off when the truck lands upside down. You can get some replacement blades uh, or replacement fans rather uh, fairly cheap. I think they're only about uh, $12 for five of them. Five volt. The specs look pretty close. I think that was on AliExpress. Uh, there's a few different ones you could choose but right now they actually look like they've got some some options in case they do break. Good to have some spares. One thing I wanted to go over since this first delivery had a high voltage power amplifier pre-installed. One thing Traxxas didn't do is put on some of this expandable sleeving that goes out to the front LED light bar as well as the rear. So I had some of this sitting in a box. So I put some on both cables going out. Right now the front didn't have very good protection. These are pretty small wires and they were just tie wrapped down underneath and kind of came around the front of the truck as well as the rear. There's not much protection for these wires. They do give you a little timeout here, which is great, but the wires themselves could get damaged very easily. So at least with this expandable sleeving, it protects the wires from getting damaged. The funny thing is Traxxas actually did this from the factory on the cable that goes from the light module to the ESC itself. They've got some nice sleeving. They put some heat shrink on the ends here, but only on that cable, not on the ones going out to the LED light bars. So I recommend adding that just to help protect them. The rear one, I actually have it going into the plastic housing itself. There was a little bit of space in there to do that. On the front, I couldn't do that. The light bar comes right down to the edge here. So I just have the sleeving go up close as I can and tie wrapped it to hold it in place. Especially with the body going on and off, that'll help protect the, the cables from the front of the body, things like that. So I highly recommend doing something like this especially for the money that Traxxas charges for this guy. They should come with the sleeving. I don't know if this will come in the kit as an option if you buy it separately. I know from the OEM, I didn't have anything on those wires. So for the money that this guy costs, they should have included at least something for those guys. But it's easy enough to add and should keep it lasting a little bit longer. So talking about the Traxxas link module, I went down to my local hobby shop and they had this guy here. So about $45 Canadian, which is great because I think it's about 60 everywhere else. So initially I bought this just because I didn't care about speed, RPM, things like that as much. But I really wanted to be able to set up the truck. And I heard that you can also control the lighting with the app, which would be nice. But mainly just to set up the truck, endpoints, uh, you know, rates and things like that. So I went down, bought this guy, installed it into the Traxxas transmitter right in the back here. And... Going through the truck initially, that's all I had. The next time I went to start everything up, there was actually a firmware update for the ESC, which it did. And initially when I was looking at some videos, I found out that the 8S version of the ESC actually has telemetry built into it. The 6S also has it. So things like the Revo 2.0, that has uh, integrated telemetry as well. 
but I didn't know about the 4S. So after turning everything on for a second time, there was a firmware update for this ESC, which I went ahead and did. And to my surprise, this has built-in telemetry, which is fantastic. So open up the app here, turn the radio on, light comes on the front, the back for Bluetooth, and it shows the battery level on the transmitter now. I'll get some power on the truck. Take these two guys, pop those together, power up the ESC. So now if we go to the dashboard, it actually shows the battery indicator and it also shows the temperature of the ESC. So my hobby shop told me that if I wanted to have the extra monitoring on the app, I would have to buy a temperature sensor that goes onto the motor and I'd have to also get a cable that goes from the battery connections in order to monitor the voltage of that battery as well as a RPM sensor that could go on to one of the main gears here. But fortunately everything is actually built into the ESC with the firmware update. So for lighting you've got some toggle switches which are nice to use or you can just do some quick presets so there's a low preset, high preset, and daylight's off. So for the back, do a quick demonstration of what it looks like. So get the wheel spin in here. And then when you brake, they actually go brighter. No matter what I press, the brake's still on. Release, brakes off. Get it to go again. Brakes, they go bright and release. For reverse, press forward to get the reverse light. And again, pull for the brakes. And the reverse light actually stays on. Even when you let go, it stays like that. But it does release the brake. Once you go forward again, reverse light comes off. And then you can brake again. So we'll go back to the main app. Right now, there's also gives you a top speed if you want. So I'll just spin this up, just so you can see that it does in fact work. This is in kilometers an hour, 12, 13, 14. It works great, which is just awesome. So everything's coming directly from the ESC. There's no extra wires going out anywhere, which means these guys' speed and RPM will be estimated from the ESC. Maybe not 100% accurate, but at least it'll give you an idea, especially if you're doing track racing. It's great to have without having to buy any extra modules, just that Bluetooth module that goes into the back of the transmitter. One of the upgrades that's nice to do is actually on the wheelie bar itself. These uh, rollers have a plastic bushing installed, so it's an option to put in a bearing instead. So I've got a 2.5 millimeter Allen screwdriver. We'll just pop this screw out here. And this roller actually drops straight down. And as you can see, they actually have plastic bushings made up with a spacer. So if we measure these guys, hopefully you can see that okay. About 15 OD. They are four millimeters wide and the ID is 10. So I've got some bearings exactly that size. Pop these guys open. So these bearings fit right in really nice and snug. Pop the spacer in on this side. Bearing goes back in on the other side. And that looks great. So it just slides back up into place. Pop the bolt back in. And we'll just tighten her up. So these should hold up a little bit better than the plastic. At least nothing will wear. You need these guys with uh, even a 3S battery. This thing does wheelies so easily. I can't imagine on 4S, but we'll have to try it down the road.
One thing I wanted to mention, anyone running a B6 AC charger, one nice upgrade is to actually install a fan on the side here. I just cut a hole to match the size of the opening of the fan blades. Fits on there pretty nice. It does hang down a little bit from the bottom, which actually may help some of the air move across the bottom, keeping it cooler. But the fan itself is no taller than the bottom of the, the foot pad. So at least when it's sitting on a table, it's not actually bottoming out on the fan. It's still on the, on the foot itself. This should keep it nice and cool. It's a high output fan. You just have a 12 volt connector here and I just run a separate power supply just to simplify things. So we just plug this guy in along with the power cable, of course, for the charger. And this just plugs in here. And then you get the fan going. I did have to modify it a little bit, just notch out the cover a little bit for the screws on the back. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with this mod. Keeps the charger much, much cooler. And I highly recommend doing something like that.